Hey everyone, today we'll be going over things to know about the equipment cases and elite cases in Dirty Bomb. I won't be sharing anything too mind-blowing as I'll be basing a lot of this video off the official announcements that were released in May regarding the cases. Uh, but you guys are welcome to stay as I do unbox some cases in this video. First off, you have the equipment cases. These are standard cases you get randomly after matches. You can also purchase them for 1,000 credits each. So, on every merc you start off with a default loadout card, which has zero augments, augments being the little perks you see on the upper left hand side of the card. But as far as actual unlocks, you have lead, which gives you one augment, iron, which gives you two, bronze and up gives you three augments. You can also trade your unwanted cards for the next rarity up. The requirements are shown here on the screen, but the in-game UI does a good job in guiding you when you're actually crafting. Now, Obsidian cards are special event cards only. They give you three augments, but I think the last distribution of them was back in February of 2015 during the uh, stress test events. Next up, guys, we have the Cobalt cards. On May 27th of 2015, uh, these bad boys were released. They are the rarest cards, um, but you do get a substantial increase in the chance to get them if you buy the uh, Elite case. And before you guys ask, yes, I did cave and I did buy a set of five of these Elite cases. Um, I really love this game, guys, and I don't mind making some in-game purchases to help support the devs. The probability of getting each rarity of the card is shown here on the screen. As you can see, Cobalt jumps from a 0.1% chance in a standard case to a 5% chance in an elite case. Elite cases guarantee silver or higher rarity, so either way you're getting, you know, something with 3 augments. The augments are helpful, but in my humble opinion, I don't think they're game breaking, guys. They're actually pretty small bonuses, and um, I will say though, my favorite perk has to be Double Time, which is the one that allows you to reload while sprinting. Just a personal favorite. Anyways, that wraps up today's video. I hope you found this video helpful or interesting. If you have a favorite perk or augment or whatever you want to call it, let me know in the comment section below. Um, again, I don't think I've said anything that isn't already posted on the official announcements, but I know not everyone reads those. Uh, and as always guys, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I'll see you around guys.